Hello, Scorpio and Scorpio Rising. Welcome to your May 2016 reading. Um, as you know, we'll be going through a retrograde cycle this month, which always causes a little bit of concern for every sign. Um, but I actually am an optimist when it comes to retrograde. I think that it really gives us an opportunity to uh, revisit and repair and, uh, and often release things that have been sort of vexing us for a while. So why don't we view it this month? My challenge for you is to view it as a chance to uh, renew. Your channeled information this month is basically to keep opportunities, situations, money flowing. Um, you do not want to be uh, stopping the natural flow of things this month. So if things are going well, it's to sustain. If all things are pushing you towards a new direction, then it's not fighting that flow. Sometimes that can mean a change of address or it can mean a change of job or um, you know, having to commute, drive, move, do something new and it's pulling you away from what's comfortable. So let's see what um, your areas are that we want to sort of identify where the flow is going and what you should be sort of aligning to in that. Um, this month, instead of a catalyst, I'm going to use two decks. Um, we're going to look at triggers and opportunities. Triggers being the shadow side, opportunities being the light side. Um, so for you, for this month, particularly for retrograde, let's see what your number one trigger is. Something that could take you off path, that could somehow kind of bring you away from the best opportunity that's coming through. It's this card. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. Um, it's funny because it, it's an, uh, a new deck. I've never seen this card. But So your message is to allow things to flow. We have Poseidon here. And interestingly enough, um, I love it when cards work out that way. Um, obviously, all about water, Poseidon. So in particular, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces could be really important this month for you. Um, another fellow. This is also sort of like key for you since you are water. This is saying allow your emotions to flow, allow opportunities to flow, um, find the power in your, in your passion. Um, what you don't want to happen here, this is when it, it gets disrupted because this was in the trigger, the um, shadow part. Uh, it's when you go against the flow, when you allow your emotions to cause sort of like this crazy tsunami. <laughs> so be aware of the, um, the effect that you and your emotions have on other people. Uh, so that's, that would be the trigger. But even though this is sort of in the shadow or the opportunity area, it's such a powerful card for you for being a water sign um, and showing again. And I actually made it an ING card and I should have just left it as flow. But I, you know, I really think it is all about flow, but I think it's the act. I, I sort of like things to be a little bit more active and I think that's why I made it flowing. But the word that I got was flow. All right, so let's take a look now at what the opportunity is, what you can accomplish by not getting in the way of things going um, in a sort of direction that they, they need to be going. So not putting a block up. This card wants to come out. Another one that comes up a lot this month, it's, it's all about really tuning into intuition here. It says, the word wants to be written. <clears throat> For many of you, this means that you've been thinking about stuff quite a bit. We see the upper chakras here, the seventh chakra, the 10th gate wide open. I see a lot of divine power coming through with the doves here um, and the butterflies rather. Um, so what I would say is you need to be able to articulate what you've been thinking about and allow it to manifest because that's really what the taking flight is. That's why we're seeing all of these butterflies flying away from this beautiful idea, this connection to divinity, the divine purpose. It is your divine purpose this month to give birth to and allow for uh, kind of like a freeing out of whatever it is that you've been holding back and not letting people see. Okay, so now let's take a look at what the cards have to say for the month of May 2016. I'm excited because you had some really great information at the beginning here. Some of you have already made the difficult step of moving on. In your deep past, I feel like some of you have already left a relationship 
behind you and I see an opportunity for new relationship to form. For those of you that are currently in a relationship, there's a redefinition that happens this month. Um, and it's a good start. Uh, it's a good start or it's a good sort of course correction for you guys um, that are in relationships. So let's just go from the center. Um, this is all about seeing through the negativity that others may be sort of pulling in towards you. This is your chance to sort of stand up, to be strong, to be seen as a leader this month. The reversal in the card means that there may be hesitation, um, but think of this beautifully strong Poseidon card. If you can keep your emotions in check, the passion translates to someone that people are really interested in listening to. Think of the best public speakers. Um, they're great speakers because they, they believe what they're saying and you can't help but listen as well. Um, with the nine of, of uh, wands on top of this, what we're seeing here is you've done a lot of the groundwork to sort of set up your success. So in, in the areas of business, a lot of times I see this as a qualification card. And by the end of this next month, this next lunar cycle, you're gonna be ready to like kind of hop off and take flight because we saw that beautiful butterfly card as your opportunity. So what, what I'm seeing here is um, the ninth will be a powerful day for you, but it's also going to be the end of the month. Once you're through retrograde, I feel like the sky is the limit. And if we connect again to this purpose card, you're going to be ready then to, um, to move on, to let go, to speak your mind. Justice in the past, showing that you've made a difficult decision. Um, there may have been battle lines that are drawn for some of you. For the rest of you, it's just sort of understanding what you want, feeling more confident. Um, there's a need right now to not say everything on your mind. See this sly fox here, sort of keeping one sword to himself. There's a sneakiness that's, that's sort of inherent in this card. So I would say be very careful with gossip at work. Be very careful with saying anything that could come back to you. You want to stay closed-lipped this month and really just sort of listen. Be mindful and understand that other, other people are listening to what you're saying, even if you can't tell. So water cooler conversations you need to be very cognizant of. Emails that you send, perhaps someone will come on your computer or your phone and see it. So you want to just basically only broadcast what you're comfortable with others seeing. Think of it as Facebook. Um, if you don't want your mom to see it, if you don't want the president to see it or your boss, then don't post it. Okay, don't say it. Again, I see some relationships coming to a close this month or potential for some arguments towards the middle of the month, but harmony as the month continues. So if you can stick with it and if it feels good, great. If you've made that decision to move on, it's a good time to basically enjoy the newfound freedom and, and try to date new people, enjoy new opportunities in your social sphere. Uh, for business, what this shows is around the third week, you're going to be very capable of uh, selling ideas, launching businesses, and excelling at work, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to start the month off, however, wanting to hold back a little bit, be either because you're conservative and feeling like, you know, I've worked really hard to get where I'm at, I don't want to waste any more money, and all of these things are okay, but you don't want to get into a mentality that uh, more things can't come to you. We have so many cards showing flow, flow of wealth, flow of opportunity, that I believe that if you've had money problems, um, there's an opportunity this month for them to turn around. We have the, the world card here, which is great for endings and beginnings. And we have the two of wands ending things, um, showing that it's a fantastic time for you to plan. And I feel like the next two months are going to show an increase, an increase in um, finances and money opportunities. The only thing that's going to be tough for cancer, uh, cancer this month is emotions run really high for a lot of it. We've got the Two of Cups reversed and the, um, the Knight of Cups here, the Son of Cups. And being that both of these cards sort of represent your water energy, um, this card now is showing if you can harness it just like Poseidon can, then the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. If you kind of become chaotic, think of a tsunami, then then it's going to be destructive and you don't want to do that. So really check your emotions and use your passion to be powerful this month. Let's now extend your forecast and take a look at health, wealth, love, and destiny. 
for your health card this month. It's a perfect month to let go of anything that is negative as far as um, addictive sort of things. It could be salt, sugar, drugs, alcohol. This is your month to detox, to try the path towards sobriety. And the card uh, encourages you to work with Raphael, who is a very good healing angel, um, and also to be very direct and affirmative in what you want to change in your life. Uh, and be honest with yourself, because the only way you're going to really commit to this is when you're absolutely 110% ready for the work that's going to be involved with that task of sob sobriety, that journey. It's not a task, it's an opportunity. All right, so for wealth, what's coming through is listening to good advice, your inner wisdom, your wisdom and possibly going and talking to um, a mentor or a trusted sort of expert in the area. So if you do want any, I wouldn't change your investments this month, I would do the research, but it's a good chance for you to read up on changes in tax laws and policies, do your research, follow your intuition, and don't do something that doesn't feel good for you. Um, otherwise, it's pretty good here. It's basically saying trust your own decision-making process. It's been <clears throat> good enough to get you to the present moment. Now let's take a look at love and relationships for this month and see what your opportunity and what your message is. Take the top card. So for many of you, this is your chance to finally shine and enjoy um, either recognition when it comes to work or finally getting someone's attention here. But I feel like it's a good month to date and overall relationships, um, even if you're falling out of love with someone and like it, this is showing that it could bring about a new opportunity. Um, so look at the bright side and try to put yourself out there in positive ways at work this month. I think it's gonna be very good to be recognized. Um, that's one area where I'm not as concerned with uh, personal relationships, try to empathize with the other person and try to kind of pull your own emotions out of it when possible. Um, but for many of you, it is a, t a time to sort of travel, to move on, to step away from something that was comfortable for a long time. I see better things in the future though. So try not to mourn that loss too much if that describes you. Finally, <clears throat> let's take a look at your destiny, your opportunity. Um, another card that seems to come through a lot uh, but we have a lot of water coming anyway for you this month, but rain and purification It's an extension of that detox card and that sobriety card um, So really what you're supposed to be doing is moving away from things that feel toxic It doesn't have to be a substance that Sobriety card um, you could be getting sober from negativity in your life So we'll quickly summarize so that you have all the information that you need um, the big word this month is flow or allowing for things to continue to flow or be flowing in your life. Um, I feel like things want to work for you um, as long as you don't let your emotions get in the way. You are like Poseidon, you're in control of it and you can set free whatever big idea or conversation is that you want to have towards the end of the month. Um, it is a good month towards the end for relationships. Even if you decide to let go of someone, I feel like you can do this in a way where there's still love and there's a beneficial sort of ending here. Um, it doesn't have to be something where you hate each other. Um, when we're looking now at your big me messages this month, it is to, to clear out anything that feels toxic, anything. To not make any immediate decisions with business, it's a great time to research, to talk to advisors, um, to trust your own gut though at the end of the day. Good, good this month for, um, good opportunity this month, I should say, for getting ahead in business and uh, towards the end of the month for being understood and recognized in a relationship. The beginning may not be so fun, but the end is much better. The whole purpose this month is to flush out anything that no longer feels like it's worth your time and effort. So try not to get pulled into some of the emotion with this because rain is all about ups and downs. It can, it can uh, indicate sadness. I see a great opportunity for you. Your ending card is the two of wands. Look at the beautiful spectrum, the rainbow in this. It's showing me a brighter month ahead and I feel like summer is going to be really good for your sign. Okay. Um, hopefully that was helpful. 
Uh, oh, one last thing, just as far as sort of like signs go, we did get a Sun of Cups here in reverse. Be careful with other water signs. Um, this month could be a little bit tricky. That's the last bit of information that came through. Um, if you ever want more of a personal one-on-one -on -one, uh, reading, I do offer those. I'll post a link in the corner so you can check out my rate and availability. Um, if you just want to keep in touch, the easiest way is to subscribe and you'll find out when I post new videos. Um, my newsletter is also excellent for that. And I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All great ways to keep in touch depending on what you prefer. Uh, finally, and from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. It's really my honor to, to have a chance to spend a little bit of time and to have you invite me into your, um, to your home or into your smart device, however you're viewing me. Um, I really appreciate it. So I wish you all the best, much prosperity. You're going to be fine in this retrograde cycle. We all are. So don't panic, okay? Um, Satnam and take care of yourselves. I'll see you in a month.